Ah, got a tag in these days everywhere you go. All oh, DVDs, 50 cents each, but this one's two dollars? Two dollars for Rambo Y. It's meant to be 50 cents. <laughs> Heading to my favorite store, the Good Sammy's. This Good Sammy's is my favorite of all time stores, of all thrift stores. I always come out with some good stuff. So now that I've said that and we're going to the one store, I probably won't find anything. But we're going to the one store, we're going to Good Sammy's. This is my favorite store. Let's do this. There we go, the Good Sammy's. This is basically a one stop shop challenge see what we can get from the one stop. Ah, got a tag in these days everywhere you go. All DVDs, 50 cents each, but this one's two dollars? Two dollars for Rambo Y. It's meant to be 50 cents. I'm not happy. We know it's not gonna be that great if they're already telling me that it's gonna be two dollars. But advertised 50 cents, not impressed, not impressed. Look what I find, look what I find. Another one of these damn hats. Another one of these damn hats that I found from a down south trip. But RM Williams one that I uh, still haven't even listed. Uh, so there's another one there. So someone's going to find that and list that before I go. I still, I, I, I just don't like touching the hats. Never have liked touching the hats. I feel a bit gross when I touch hats. But uh, yeah, I don't know why. But uh, let's have a look at the jackets here. And um, there was a few good jackets, but a few things were a bit expensive in this place compared to normal. I don't know if uh, do, do thrift stores get new owners or is it all run by uh, government? I don't know, but uh, prices seem like they've gone up from my favorite store. I'm not going to bother showing this in show and tell because I'm showing you now. This is going in my collection. This Dockers, uh, vintage Dockers uh, shot glass. So that's just going up on my bar. Heaps of games in this one. More games than I've ever seen before. Uh, fair few. This was sealed, Articulate Your Life. They wanted $4 for that. Uh, $4 it was, was pretty reasonable, actually, for uh, something that's sealed. But um, I could only get about 25 bucks plus post back for it. I should have brought it, to be honest. I put it back. I just I wasn't thinking. Uh, does anyone ever get that? Uh, let, let me know in the comments. Do you ever pick stuff up and put it back on the shelf and say, I'm going to grab that later? And you don't. Uh, if you film stuff, you realize afterwards that you do it. And uh, I do it a lot, unfortunately. Found this game here that I was uh, pretty interested in. Uh, I do like Milton Bradley games. Uh, go to the head of the class. Uh, six dollars I wanted for that one. I could only get 25 bucks for that. Um, it's a pretty big game, a weird shaped box, so I left that one. Um, if I had an old, uh, bigger, if I had a bigger retro room, I probably would have brought it just to have on the shelf just to display to look cool. Uh, this Walking Dead Don't Look Back dice game was actually pretty cool. Opened uh, it up uh, off camera and a lot of pieces were missing. Unfortunately, someone has gone in there and stolen heaps of shit, which sucks. Who steals from an op shop? You gotta be, there's something wrong with you, mate. Uh, that would have been cool to have that game. I would have made my wife play that with me and then I would have sold it. Uh, Disney Song Challenge, I left that one because I would probably win all that. Uh, but check these out. If this, was, uh, this had missing pieces, Don't Break the Ice, another Milton Bradley game. Never heard of this one before. Looked pretty damn cool. Uh, so don't break the ice, that are missing pieces, so I didn't get that. Uh, and uh, don't spill the beans. Uh, I don't know how many beans were supposed to be in there, I had a look in there, but um, the beans in the pants. Um, and uh, it didn't seem like there was as, amount of, as many beans as there should have been. So I left that one as well. Because uh, I always like to, uh, on these, show you what I don't pick up. Because show and tell I'm going to show you what I do pick up. Uh, Sex in the City, $7 for all these DVDs, but these are barley copies. No one is going to buy them. No one wants the barley copies of the uh, DVDs. Uh, no CDs there today. 
Bingo right here. Found this uh, Mario Wii in the box. That's 50 bucks every day. I'll be happy to pay $7, but I was very skeptical here. So uh, a little uh, cheeky me. I picked the uh, I picked it open. I picked the sticky tape off because sticky tape means sealed and everything's in there, but not necessarily. So I wanted to have a look myself instead of paying the seven dollars. And uh, uh all there was was a two steering wheels. They had two steering wheels in there, uh, a back battery pack, and no game, no game. So two crappy steering wheels, uh, some junk in there. It and a couple of battery packs for controllers that they just sealed it up and shoved it on the shelf and put seven dollars on it. That was a waste of my time. And someone's going to buy that thing and they've got a good bargain for seven dollars and they're going to lose seven dollars and they're not going to be happy. Not going to be happy. There's an umbrella, don't need an umbrella today, but uh, this looks like a Western Bulldogs umbrella. The Western Bulldogs umbrella, I left that there, I didn't bother with that. But still pretty cool. Uh, still pretty cool. I'd rather get wet than uh, take that around. But um, we'll leave that Western Bulldogs uh, umbrella there. And we keep on moving. We keep on moving. Would you have picked it up? Snow globes. Snow globes. Does anyone ever buy snow globes? Are these worth getting for around Christmas time? Let me know in the comments. Do you buy the old Shaker snow globe thingies? They're all only two bucks each and they're all Christmas ones. Uh, let me know because uh, I might get them next time. This dinosaur was cool. I kind of wish I grabbed him now. Uh, showing you because I didn't pick him up. Uh, I wish I did pick him up. He was $3. Uh, decent price. Need batteries in it and that's one of the things that I'm skeptical about. When it takes batteries, I don't really want to buy stuff uh, like that in case it's corroded inside. But um, this was a pretty damn cool dinosaur and uh, part of me is kicking myself in the nuts now because uh, I should have picked that one up because it wasn't bad at all. There's an ugly pug. I don't know if you've ever seen these ugly pugs before but uh, they're pretty cool. The ugly pugs. I like them and uh, let's move on to a different area. Oh no. Oh not again. Not again. The fucking platypus. The platypus. The, the platypus. The pest. Platypus Pest has two now. Has two within a couple of weeks I've seen now. Put it up, up on the screen. It's up on the screen. The second damn platypus for a while. And uh, these Teletubbies here were from 1996. They wanted $2 each on them. Um, but they wrote in uh, Sharpie on the fabric. $2 now. That's where it says the year. Would you have grabbed these? I put them back. I didn't bother because of the sharpie on the fabric. That's what pissed me off. Um, uh, maybe I should have grabbed them. I don't know if I, if you would have grabbed them or not. But I left them. I left them. I didn't worry about that. And uh, oh, this gold. This is a disgusting. Why do people put these on the shelves? No one's going to buy this for five dollars. It's look at that. All coming off the Gold Coast Suns jersey. And it's a fake one too. Don't get tricked by these fake ones. So many. That's great power comes great responsibility. I wish that shirt. I wish that Spider-Man shirt was extra large. I would have wore that. I love a good Spider-Man shirt. This was a weird jacket. If you know this jacket, let me know because that was some weird shit there. Me made. I didn't even look it up. It was weird. Um, yeah, didn't bother with it. Would you have picked that up? And that was eight dollars. It was very thin as well. So. But uh, that's my uh, one thrift store. That's my one thrift store, and that's all the stuff I didn't get. All right, so that wasn't the greatest, but I still got a few things. Uh, so we'll go back to the shed, and I'll show you everything I got. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed, because this is my favorite store, and I usually come out with a whole massive couple of baskets worth of shit, but not this time. A uh, few bits and pieces, so you can't always win them. You can't always win them, but Still got some more right stuff, so let's check it out. I'm gonna start off on the items that I thrifted that I'm not gonna sell because um, I picked these up for $5 each and I'm not gonna take this out of the kitty or put money in the kitty for them, but I wanted to show you because this is Planet of the Apes, the TV series, 
This is uh, box set number one. Fucking absolutely beautiful tapes. Beautiful tapes. These will go with my Planet of the Apes movies that I'm collecting as well on VHS. So that's uh, box set one and box set two, and that's the whole complete um, Planet of the Apes uh, movies right there. Really happy to have them in my collection now. They were $5 each, and I would have paid $10 each. I would have paid probably $20 each for them. Um, and people pay when they want stuff in their collection. Simple as that. I was stoked with these pickups. I already got for sale on my site, Darkman 3 uh, VHS. But now I own, I never thought about owning it before, but now I just picked up Darkman 3, 2, and 1. I'm stoked to pick up Darkman 1, 2, and 3. Uh, 50 cents each, dollar $1.50. I'm not putting them in my kitty. Um, yes, I do have, uh, I do have number 3 for sale in my uh, eBay store already for like, 10 or 20 bucks, I can't even remember, but um, I'm stoked to pick these up. Uh, now I've got one, two, and three. I'm going to keep them in my collection. I like the covers. I love the covers. And I love the uh, I love the first movie. The second and third one wasn't that great, but um, they're going to look cool. So yeah, they're, they're the pickups that I've got for uh, my own collection. We're not putting them in the kitty, you're not taking out of the kitty, but it's always good to uh, show what we collect sometimes as well. So yes, there was VHS at this uh, op shop, thrift store. I got 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, double check 10. I got 10 at 50 cents a piece. Um, just like the Dark Man ones, they were 50 cents a piece, but not the uh, Planet of the Apes. Um, but look, some of these, are one's sealed here, this Cry in the Wild. And this one's gone for 20, 30 dollars before in the US. I'm just going to put it in my bread and butter pile. I'm not going to put these at 10 dollars each, because uh, there is a lot of, uh, titles here that will go for $10 each, like Slim Dusty, Live in the 90s, hard to get, you can't find that one. Uh, people love Tango and Cash, people love Kindergarten Cop, these are the ones that you want to find. Uh, people love One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and then you've got stuff like, you know, Tour of Duty, Nam, Tour of Duty, people like that stuff, and then video store stuff that you can't get, that you just can't get. Um, and Yogi Bear stuff goes really good as well. But uh, this is my bread and butter stuff, fucking awesome. And uh, $10 each, so there's 100 bucks in the kitty right there just from uh, spending five bucks. Another VHS that was there, uh, Indiana Jones, this was $2, they wanted for it, which is fine by me, because I can get about $25 for this Indiana Jones box set. This is nice. This is really, really nice box set. I'm really considering keeping this for my collection because uh, it is hard to find the uh, the box set. Uh, 25 bucks, so I'd rather in my pocket at the moment for some bills would be nice. So uh, unfortunately, we're not going to keep this in our collection. But um, yeah, very nice, very nice. From two dollars to 25 bucks, easy. This was 50 cents, and we're gonna turn this into $25. Hopefully it doesn't give us an evil curse. Uh, the Exorcist uh, novel. This one is from 1972. So 1972, uh, The Exorcist, The Devil is Coming for Regan's Soul. This will go for 25 bucks, and some have sold for more, some have been listed for more, some have uh, sold for less. So we're going in the middle of the road there. Uh, this was a good pickup, I thought, as well. Just uh, walking past the books and just happened to catch my eye. Um, just bumped in the spine, Exorcist, and I was like, ooh! So, I'm not going to read it because I don't think it'll be as scary as watching the movie. But uh, 25 bucks from 50 cents. Thank you! I paid up for this one, unfortunately. This is an NRL uh, supporters jersey, Brisbane Broncos. Um, I paid $15 for this. There's none of this one for sale anymore. Um, nice big Broncos on the back. I don't follow NRL, so I'm not 100% sure how these go. 
but $15 I took a risk and you know I don't like to spend up when I uh, uh, buy items, I like to buy cheap and sell uh, for more profit, but I think I can get 80 bucks for this, 70 to $80, and I'm I'm actually going to put it at 100 and more, because uh, I really think it will go, so I'll let you know on this one if it sells or not. A few marks on the button there, not a big deal, um, nothing to really cry about really, so. I like it. Yeah, I think that was a good pickup. Where fifteen dollars? Would you have brought it for fifteen dollars? Two more items left. It was just a small thrift. Another small thrift. Uh, this is sealed. This is an NFL uh, Seattle Seahawks helmet, five hundred piece shaped puzzle. I paid three dollars for this. I could get about forty bucks because it is brand new and sealed, hasn't been opened. Uh, look at the father and the son putting the puzzle together and uh, aren't they so happy together and You put the piece in the wrong fucking spot you little prick. Not cool, Seahawks dad. Not cool. Ah, uh, so yeah, I can get about 40 bucks for this. I'm going to put 35 in the kitty because I've got expectations that it probably uh, We'll go for 35, even though I could probably get 40 for it, and I'll probably take some offers. So we'll go, we'll go uh, 35 for the kitty for that one. This was two dollars. This was my personal find for the day, my favourite find. The box is pretty beat up, pretty beat up. But this is from 1995, Lucas Arts. Uh, well, not Walt Disney back then, but a 550 piece Star Wars Return of the Jedi puzzle. Nice fucking Darth Vader. Oh, you got the Ewoks on there, you got, oh, there's Han Solo and Luke Skywalker, Lear's on there, and then you got fucking this little prick, and then there's uh, Lando, there's Lando there as well, and then the Millennium Falcon and the Star Fighters. Oh man, we, I reckon this. We'll get about 40 bucks for it because of the condition that it's in. About 40 bucks, so expectations. I'm going to put 30 bucks, 30, 35 bucks in the kitty, um, even though I'm going to try for 40, 45 dollars for it. But uh, they're going to pay for their own post as well, so expectations. Are, I'm thinking 35 bucks. I'm not going to be greedy uh, with the kitty today. Funny how when you got stuff and you're like, man, it's not going to come to that much. But when you add it up, ten dollars, add twenty dollars, add thirty-five dollars, add another thirty-five dollars, add another ten dollars, add another twenty dollars, it all does add up in the end. So uh, we'll bring out my feline calculator. Can you please come forward and bring up the kitty? Mm. Kitty. Kitty. Today before fees, before taxes, before mumbo jumbo bullshit, we spent twenty-seven dollars fifty, kitty. We spent twenty-seven dollars fifty. That's my usual. I usually spend about thirty dollars. Uh, how much are we gonna get back? How much are we gonna get back? We're gonna pay some bills today. Kitty, three hundred dollars. Don't Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. You know, bread and butter stuff added up with all the other bits and pieces. This is before fees, before taxes, take away whatever you fucking want when you do your calculations from that. But Kitty doesn't like the tax man. Kitty does not like the tax man, so he does not take out the taxes. It's Kitty, fuck off, man. You're gonna get us audited. Get out of here, Kitty. Get out of here. So it just shows you if you're a part-time, uh, part-time reseller, just go to a thrift store, spend a few bucks on the weekend, and you can, uh, once it all sells, it's not gonna sell miraculously fucking all straight away, nothing does. Because if everyone was awesome, and it all fucking sold straight away, and everyone was an expert, no one would have any stock in their store. So if you're an expert, and you think you're an expert, you're not an expert, because you would have zero items in your store, because as soon as you list it, and as soon as you put it up, it would be sold. So no one's an expert. So everyone's gonna have stuff sit there, trust me. So never ever be down on yourself, never be down on yourself because you're always gonna have stock sitting there that doesn't sell. But going from comps, we're going from is what it should sell for. All right guys, 
Thanks heaps for watching. If you got this far and you in, uh, enjoyed the whole show, click the thumbs up, uh, click the little bell icon and all that and subscribe for me. That always helps over here, over there, wherever it is. And uh, I'll be back uh, next week with another um, ride along and show and tell. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying uh, all my episodes back weekly now. So uh, show some love and uh, share it around, guys. See you.